Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We had nine drivers seeing action over the weekend, so let's head out west where we find Jesse Love, who was at Utah Motorsports Campus for the Arkham Menards West Twin 30s on the 2.2 mile road course, driving for Bill McAnally Racing and the number 19 Napa Power Premium Plus Toyota. In the first 30 lap event, Jesse qualified third, starting inside row two and was hammered down from the drop of the green flag, taking the lead on lap nine and holding on for the victory despite a green-white checker finish at the end. This was Jesse's first ARCA win and BMR's first win on a road course, but their 100th win overall. Quite a historic race for all involved. In the second 30 lap event, Jesse continued with the momentum by finishing second, capping off a great weekend for the 15 year old Menlo Park driver. Jesse currently holds the lead in the Arca West points. Up next for Jesse, back to the dirt with four nights of racing over the next five days. Connor Mozak made the trip to Hickory Motor Speedway for twin 40s in his number eight junior motorsports late model. Connor started ninth in the first 40 lap feature after a solid qualifying lap and was working his way through the field when making a pass for fifth, the car got loose, killing his momentum, and he finished sixth. With the invert, Connor started fourth for the second feature and moved his way into second with his sights set on the leader. The car continued to get loose as the run went on. Connor went searching for a grip, but ultimately finished in the fifth position. Up next for Connor, Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway on August 1st. Joey East, Cassidy Hines, Jake Bowman, and Brody Moore were all in competition at Madera Speedway for the first points paying event of the 2020 season. Joey East competed in the Nut Up Pro Late Model Series in his Richwood Meets US Ag 59 Center number 88, where he qualified 14th. Joey started his run towards the front, but the track was not favoring side-by-side -side racing, so it was one car at a time, but that consistency paid off in a top 10 finish coming home in eighth place. Up next for Joey, back to Madera Speedway on July 11th. Let's now move to the Junior Late Model Series and Cassidy Hines, who qualified eighth, but got caught on the outside on the start and got shuffled back to 11th. At that point, she started her march back to the front and was running seventh by lap 13th, moved to sixth and stayed there until getting spun out on lap 51 that sent her to the back, but she raced her way back to an 11th place finish. Let's hear a little bit from the driver. Hi everyone, I had a pretty good day of racing at Madera Speedway. I qualified 8th, so that put me in 8th in the main. I was running 6th for about 90% of the race until a driver spun me from behind, which bumped me back a few positions. I didn't quite get the outcome I was looking for, but I did finish 11th, so that was pretty good. I will be racing at Colorado National Speedway on July 4th in my legend and Intermountain Speedway on July 5th in my legend. For her first junior late model race, that was impressive. Up next for Cassidy, Legend Cars on July 4th and 5th. Jake Bowman qualified 11th in his number 71 Nate Clower entry, but found himself getting caught up in an early incident that sent him to the back of the pack. On the restart, he worked his way back to 7th before cutting down a right rear tire that sent him back to the end of the lead lap cars again, but eventually raced his way back to a ninth place finish. If there was an award for passing the most cars, Jake would have won that hands down. Up next for Jake, July 11th, Madera Speedway. Brody Moore was also in action at Madera Speedway in his Charlie Wilson prepared number 78 junior late model. Brody qualified 13th and had worked his way up to the eighth position before a mechanical issue ended his night early. Brody will be back in his junior late model at Madera Speedway on July 11th. Caden Honeycutt was at Five Flags Speedway in his number 10 super late model as part of the Rowdy Blizzard Series weekend. 
Caden qualified 12th. That put him on the outside of row six. Starting on the outside would become a detriment through the night for Caden as it was very difficult to get back to the inside without losing a few positions. In the feature on night one while running inside the top 10, Caden had alternator issues that caused the battery to fail, ending his night being scored in 25th. On night two, Caden had to start 25th due to night one's finish, but battled his way up to 13th at one point in the race before the handling went away on the car, resulting in a 16th place finish. Hey guys, Caden Honeycutt here. We just uh, got home from Pensacola, Florida last night at Five Flags Speedway. Uh, ended up having not the best weekend so far. Um, we just kind of struggled the whole weekend trying to find speed and find the handling. We just uh, were kind of just a little off. Uh, we ended up finishing uh, 25th and 16th Friday and Saturday. Uh, on Friday, we had an alternator go out and it drained the battery. The battery died, so we had to pull off after that. And uh, Saturday, we were just kind of struggling with the car, trying to find handling, and we just couldn't get it down. We were just trying, we were, never gave up. We just tried really hard and we just dismissed it. It just happens, it happens sometimes. Um, not, you're not gonna have a perfect car ever. Uh, certainly no one else does either. So uh, we just kind of have to fight through that fight for what we can get. And uh, we're gonna kick off this week. I'm gonna race this week on Red River Modified Tour. And last year, the tour, we finished second in points in the Sport Mod. And uh, we're going to be racing this car, uh, Jay Coon's car, for uh, this week. And on Wednesday, we're going to quick it off at uh, Southern Oklahoma Speedway. And we're going to go uh, to the four other places Wednesday through Sunday. So we're really looking forward to that and uh, see what we can get. Hope to see you all at the racetrack. Have a great week. And uh, let's see if we can pull off a championship in the Sport Mod Division. We were so close last year. I really wanted it. Um, so we'll just see what we can get. And uh, let's see if we can pull off a couple wins there in the week. See you guys there. Grant Thompson was also at Five Flags Speedway on Saturday in the pro truck portion of the Rowdy Blizzard Series. Grant qualified on the pole and had to roll the dice for the invert, but he rolled a two, putting him outside the front row for the start. Grant made the pass for the lead on lap one and led every lap despite several restarts towards the end of the race. He parked his number 38 Kurt Britt Motorsports Serendipity Chevrolet truck in victory lane for the third time this year in five starts and no finishes outside the top three. Up next for Grant was supposed to be Houston Motorsports Park this weekend, but that race unfortunately has been canceled. Hello, race fans. Grant Thompson here. We just finished our third race of the season in the Pro Truck Division at Five Flags Speedway. My 38 Serendipity Kurt Britt Motorsports PFC Brakes and Air Body Chevrolet was really, really fast. We were on the top of the board in practice, and we went to qualifying having a really good feeling about it, and uh, qualified on the pole, started on the pole. Um, we took the green, we led every lap of the race, and I came out with the win, which was really awesome for the Kurt Britt Motorsports team and also myself. So um, I'd just like to thank, you know, AR Bodies, PFC Brakes, Serendipity, Kurt Britt Motorsports, just everybody that helps out on that truck to make it what it is. That's it for this weekend's action-packed race face driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great 4th of July race weekend. My name is Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.